Good morning folks, it's 5.45 this morning and we're getting ready to load four loads of pigs out of our site one barn here at 6 a.m. So the truck should be showing up here pretty shortly. It's gonna be dad and I for the most part. Kale said, my buddy Kale said that he was gonna be coming to maybe help us after he got some of his chores done at where he chores hog barns, but he might not. So depending on how much work he's gotta do, he'll, he'll either be here or he won't, but I think dad and I can handle it for the most part. So it should be, should go all right. Well, look who decided to show up right when the other truck showed up. Perfect timing. I don't think you're the right pig that comes out, buddy. Crazier, crazier than pet coon. Go ahead, buddy. He must have jumped last night. 155 to a truck. The blue marks do not go. We sorted a lot of these pigs already, so um, yeah, blue marks don't go. These are all the blue marks here and the non marks are the ones that will go we're going to start in the southwest room or southeast room though first just because those are the biggest pigs and we want to get them on the first truck and then we'll come into here if we need to how many is that no it's enough i, I can always let stuff back It's a boar. Oh, okay. If we could shut a gate, that would be ideal. Let's just let him right out in the alley. Really quick.
mother Well, that was a very eventful end of the first load. Uh, when you get to that last hole, the truck driver's supposed to open up the last hole and, you know, not let any of the other pigs come back on you, but he let like seven back on us. And it just turned into a freaking disaster. So we got them loaded though, so that's all that matters, but. You gotta keep that door shut when you're a truck driver because they'll just all come they'll just all come back on you if you don't. So they loaded great besides that last hole, they loaded phenomenal. So Laying down some traction. Yeah, I gotta have a little, gets a little sloppy after three loads. Last load here, folks. Just got finished up with the fourth load and went pretty well. It's just hard when you're running out of that north barn and coming all the way down that uh, connecting core it's just a long haul so it just takes a little bit longer just because you gotta push the pigs further so uh, if it if, if we would have had a third person it probably would have went a little bit faster um, but we got her done and now we're gonna chore these pigs then go chore the other sites um, move some pigs around here and then Probably go get a bite to eat because we're pretty. We worked up quite the appetite while we we're doing this, and then I think we're going to be side dressing the rest of the day. Thoughts on how the loads went? They went pretty good, except the last one, just because. Long haul. It's a long haul, and when there's a communication issue with the truckers, that makes it hard. When you can't communicate, it doesn't work very well. I don't know what the answer is. I suppose I probably better learn better Spanish, but all I know are the swear words, and that probably doesn't help uh, make them load any better. So maybe I need to lear learn some inspirational verses in Espanol. That'll help, maybe. I'm tired. I want to go take a shower, and then I'm going to fill up the side dressing rig, and I'm going to go sit on my arse and uh, chill out for a while, I think. This will be a good day for just making rounds. We're plugging away on getting this corn side dress. I just got down on the other side of site two, 
which is right by the driveway. So I decided I was low enough. I was gonna come fill this puppy up and then get back after it. So we're just right about half done with this uh, 130 acres here at home. I think Honda has pretty much put Briggs and Stratton out of business because all these all these chemical dealers and about everybody that I see, all they ever run anymore is Honda engines. They start every time and they run good and I don't know what the Briggs guys think, but it seems like their window of opportunity closed because I think Honda pretty much owns that market now. So he wants some not very politically correct commentary. So I was just noticing this is a this is a new blue jet AT3000, so it's a 12 row side dressing rig. And their motto is all terrain injection. I'm pretty sure that I had a friend of mine in high school who's his nickname would be ATI because he liked to take all he liked to take all his girlfriends parking, so I think you'd call that a all terrain injection. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Welcome to Tractor Ride 2022. I'm just going in circles. It's pretty exciting. Actually it's very relaxing. text message from the marketing director we got three more loads going out midnight Sunday night at midnight and then it'll be time to pack up and go to the World Pork Expo so the side dressing's got to get done today we'll probably just run we'll probably just run however late we got to run to get it done tomorrow afternoon Saturday afternoon we'll have to sort those pigs because we'll we'll pre-sort them so they're ready to go and then we'll do that Sunday night Monday we won't be worth a crap so nothing will get done Monday because I'll when you when you load them late like that then when you come back to the house you can't fall asleep you fall asleep about 3 o'clock 3 30 and then wake up at 6 o'clock because you're used to having coffee at 5 so Monday will be a very groggy day but then Tuesday we'll pack our stuff and head up to World Pork. some of this too but he's ready to be done and I'm gonna take over and we'll get it all done today before I get started I haven't had lunch yet uh, I got all the pigs chored while dad was side dressing and so I'm starving so I'm gonna eat a little bit shout out to Jersey Mike's no no sponsorship here I just freaking love their their uh, sandwiches best damn sandwich uh, chain there is out there over Jimmy John's definitely over Subway and um, they just do shit right. They just do shit right and they support the pork industry. So can't go wrong with that. So I'm gonna mow on this quick and then I'm going to get started. And you guys don't wanna watch me stuff my face. Trust me, it's it's not that pretty. I pretty much devoured that sandwich. My uh, go-to sandwich, Jersey Mike's, is definitely the original Italian. Uh, it's got all the meats you could possibly want on it. Uh, it's delicious and obviously Mike's way for sure. I don't really love side dressing all too much. I think it'd be a lot more enjoyable if it was, you had some auto steer, but we don't have auto steer. So you gotta really pay attention to things and keep yourself straight because it ain't a good deal if you don't. So it can't get off at all. Um, and I mean, that goes for any field work, but auto, uh, having auto steer on side dressing would be phenomenal. So maybe one day we'll get that figured out and we can all enjoy it a little bit more, but 
going going good so far on my, my first pass and getting ready to turn around in a, in a jiffy. field so just cruising along uh, probably 10 acres left until we're golden I think 10 to 15 acres and we'll probably then we'll be done so I think I only got off one time all enough to my mistake so just was going too fast and wasn't paying attention so that's gotta pay attention when you're in the tractor I'm really hoping for a good crop this year the world needs a good crop this year. There's a lot of people that need it, and uh, we can't have a shortage because we already have a, a big enough shortage as it is. So hopefully this nitrogen can give this corn a boost and it can get us on track to doing better than last year or just as good as last year because last year was a damn good crop that we raised. and so. Hoping that for every other farmer out there, you know, hoping the same so we can produce a lot of produce a lot of good crop this year. Just grateful to be doing it, you know. Uh, I'm not a pro by any means. I got a lot of shit I got to still learn here, uh, being a farmer. But I really enjoy doing it, and it brings me a lot of fulfillment doing it. So there's nothing better to do and a job that fulfills you even if they're through the hard days well i think we're out of nitrogen so i don't think we're gonna go any longer we we didn't end up doing all of our acres because we're out so dad did a few passes over here on the end rows so uh some of the end rows are done over there but here we are right over here i'm gonna fold her up and take her home chemical guys try to get as close as they can to what they think we're gonna need um so they could have been on we also had that leak in that hose over in that other field that dad when dad was running uh one of the hoses started to leak really bad and we had to shut her down and um some nitrogen could have ran out there um so there's you know they try to get as close as they can and that could have played a, a factor into running out but it happens uh, it happened a couple years ago too. You, you never really get it perfect, but it's nice to know that most of our acres are covered. Um, it is what it is. Can't really do much about it. Um, so we're just gonna fold it up, take her home and call it a day. I got along all right. Glad to get it done. Just wanted to say I appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel. Every single one of you guys matters to us. The, some, the amount of support we've gotten over these these three years is huge, and we appreciate it. We love you guys, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.